Hello, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media and today I want to show you how to set up a Zoom meeting and then what to do to start that meeting. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to zoom.us. We're going to click here. Now Zoom used to have a regulation that you could only do a 40 minute meeting for free. But because of what's been happening all around the world with COVID-19, the coronavirus, Zoom is now allowing meetings to go on longer in most countries. Uh, Canada, I'm not sure if we've been accepted as of yet, but I'm positive this will be happening relatively soon. So I went to zoom.us and when I'm here you could set up an account by hosting a meeting or creating an account. I created an account for myself. Once you're in your account setting, as you see it's here, I've already uploaded a photo and a little bit of information about myself. It is not necessary but it is nice for the people that you send a meeting request for them to to have a little bit of familiarity with who you are. The next thing we do is we're going to go into meetings. Now you can have a meeting, you could create webinars and there's a lot of different um, tabs and things you can do with webinars but for now I'm teaching you the very simplistic hosting a meeting. Let's say you want to share documents with a client or you'd like to speak with someone or your team and host a meeting, an update once a week, a reoccurring meeting. All of those things fall under meetings. We're going to click on meetings and right here it says schedule a meeting. We're going to go ahead and we're going to schedule a meeting. Now I'm going to call this meeting a Zoom test. And you could have a description in the meeting. You then go ahead and pick the meeting date. My meeting is going to be pretty close to 2. I'm going to say 2.15. So you see I changed that just by clicking in the box and changing it. You could open up this calendar here and choose a different date if you would like. My meeting is going to be one hour long and as you see right now it says your Zoom basic plan has 40 minute time limit with up to only three participants. This is what you're going to see when you have a free plan. It is up to you whether you want to upgrade by clicking upgrade now. I do know that meetings during the COVID-19 are being allowed to go longer, then automatically you have your time zone. You want to double check to make the time zone is correct for you. Now here's the thing, when you send out the invitation for the meeting to the participants, Zoom automatically puts in the proper time in their time zone. So you don't even have to worry about that. If you're going to have reoccurring office meetings every single week, you can just click here and then you fill in the information in regards to that reoccurring meeting. You'll have your meeting ID and I'm going to show you more about that in a second. And then we have the meeting password and that is not important at this time. Video, you might want the video for your participants to be on. However, if you are doing a video update with perhaps 20 people, you might not want everyone's video to be on and you might only want yourself to be on right here. However, the meeting I'm going to host, I do want my participants video on. You can have both audio um, and by telephone, people can call in or strictly by the computer. I like to have the default on both right here. And then you have enable uh, join before host. That would be okay if people are there. This is the one that I would not enable is the waiting room because then you have to bring the participants into the meeting. So just leave that alone. But this is a really important one right here. Record the meeting automatically on your computer. Now it will take up a lot of space on your computer so you need to remember that. However, I really love that option. Let's go ahead and click it. And then all I have to do is click save. Now my meeting is scheduled and ready for me to start. Now I could go ahead and start the meeting right here 
Or what I'm actually going to choose to do is I'm going to go down and you see where it says copy the invitation. If I go ahead and click on copy the invitation, this is the invitation with the link for whoever I want to join the meeting to click on. And all I have to do is click copy meeting invitation and then I can take the invitation to my email database and I can send it out to the appropriate people. So I'm going to quickly go and click on a new email and I'm going to drop this in here and I want this email actually to go right here. Bob dot Bob ca copy we'll just go back here i am going to drop the email into who it's for and i'm going to put i love to add a little emoji of a camera and write zoom to 15 pm thank you there we go and now i just click send and now that wow. participant has actually received an invitation into the meeting now Either than just having it as an invitation sent this way, I can also go in down here and I can edit the meeting if I wanted to edit the meeting. I could delete the meeting if in fact it was cancelled or I could start the meeting over here. Um, this is my meeting URL so I could just simply copy the invitation once again or I could just click on the URL and copy it this way and then send it. It's easier to do it, copy the invitation. So now just give me a minute and we will start our Zoom meeting and show you how it works as a participant and as the host of the meeting. Now let's say you closed down your Zoom and you wanted to find your meeting again and you were just, let's say, logging on to your account, log on to your account, you just go over to meetings on the left and you would see there is your meeting waiting uh, for you to go ahead and click on it or start the meeting right there or schedule another meeting. This is Heather and let's continue on the next video. Okay, so we're going to quickly go on to Zoom and when we're on our account, we are going to go over to my account. We're going to look to the left to where it says meetings and from here we are going to join the meeting that has started and let's see if our guest is there. There he is. Hi, Bob. How are you? Good. And you've got your recording on and you have your video on so I can see you and all of our um, viewers can see that you've um, got onto the Zoom meeting. How did you get onto the Zoom meeting? I just clicked on the link uh, that you sent me in the email and then uh, and on the link it just said ask to join with video, which I clicked and then that was it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, perfect. And Bob, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us who you are? Sure, yeah. I'm uh, Bob Daw with uh, Keller Williams. I'm a realtor here in beautiful White Rock, BC. Uh, not practicing real estate like right now. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> are you hosting any virtual meetings through Zoom to keep in contact with your clients? Actually, uh, we, I, I just had a, a similar thing today where we're just talking about uh, how we can, uh, we're, one of the strategies I'm going to work on is uh, inviting local businesses to to participate in a Zoom call. Maybe even on uh, next Saturday, you could do a, like a market on Saturday and have, say, 10 local businesses get on, say what they've got, you know, show what products they have and delivery and all that sort of thing. We'll kind of work oh, it out. Oh, I love that. Good for you. So we're talking right now about the coronavirus and COVID-19 and many businesses being shut down. And so Bob is going to embrace using Zoom uh, to talk to other businesses locally to help them out. Beautiful idea. Thanks, Bob. Um, what I would love you to do right now is to share your screen or I'll share my screen. That way, I don't know what's on your computer. I'm not putting you on the spot, but I show people how you do it. So if you put your cursor 
on to the video where you can see Bob's face. At the bottom, you can see where it says share right here. It also tells me the participants. To the left, it says I can invite more people. And then there's a chat box if you actually had um, the audio off on your guests, they could chat right here. So I'm going to click on share the screen. And now I can do a whiteboard where I can write things out. I could show a PowerPoint presentation. But I'm going to share my desktop and then I go to the very bottom right hand side and I click share again. And now it launches and this in fact is my desktop. Bob, what are you looking at? Yeah, I'm seeing your, your desktop. Uh, the Zoom launch is what it says? Yeah, it says launching. It's the Zoom page. Okay, beautiful. And Bob, we're shooting this video right now because the Toronto Real Estate Board has asked us to create some videos to show their real estate agents how they can maintain their business virtually because the government last night did vote that real estate was an essential service. And so we have to figure out how they can show their products and services virtually. And we're doing Zoom as one of the options. And then, of course, virtual video, which you do a lot of. And um, so I appreciate you coming on. You're actually um, one of the, I'm going to go a big screen here so everyone can see you. You're one of the top realtors in the Lower Mainland that's utilizing video to showcase your community and your products. So it's a pleasure that you could join us. This will be turned into a YouTube video. Um, do you have anything you want to say, Bob, besides send your referrals to Vancouver? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're, uh, you're absolutely right. I think this is going to be a long lasting trend of, uh, you know, doing things virtually rather than, you know, interfering with someone's home. Like, uh, like you were saying, uh, things are changing and I believe that, uh, it's going to stick around for a little while where people are maybe aren't so comfortable with having open houses. Uh, so we do more virtual tours, Matterport stuff, you know, mm -hmm. where people can look at things without having uh, to go into the home. And, uh, you know, out here in White Rock, a uh, large percentage of our listings are vacant. So it's a great opportunity, oh, I think, uh, vacant homes. It's still easy for me as a realtor. I was going to look at one today and tomorrow uh, that's vacant that I can show up and use in the right um, protocol with gloves on and all that sort of mm -hmm. thing where I can do a quick walkthrough that I can send to a potential buyer. Excellent. Yes, and we're going to actually even have to train our own sellers to use a little bit of their uh, handheld smartphones to shoot some videos of their homes too. There's a lot of people that need to sell their homes for whatever reasons and we have to respect that. Uh, and either we are taking the homes off the market or we're going to market them and using a lot of the virtual options that are free and available to us is going to separate uh, some of the more professional realtors from the ones that are just so afraid of technology. Um, I just want to say, Bob, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. You look great. <laughs> yeah, you too. Good to see your face. Honey. Yeah. Hello to your beautiful wife from me too, okay? Yeah, I will tell her. Okay, you take care. Now, to end this meeting, everyone, I have to actually click on end meeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop share at the very bottom. I wanted to show you if you put your cursor in the middle of the screen and go down to the bottom, it says stop share. And actually, you can't see that because the bottom is not um, showing. I'm going to lift it up. So there you see it here on the screen. It says stop share. I click stop share. And now Bob is back in full screen. We can continue our conversation. I can share my screen. He can share his screen. I could put on a PowerPoint presentation for him. And then to end the video, I'm just going to go over to the right hand side. And you see right there, it says end video. I'm going to say thank you so much, Bob. Bless you. Stay yeah. safe. And I appreciate your help today. Okay, take care. Okay, Bye. thank you. And then I end the meeting for all. And the meeting is now over. And um, there we go. If you have any questions on how to do this, do not hesitate to reach out and ask for help. My name is Heather. And remember, everyone, let's stay safe and keep it simple.